Yasha Him in the second act, episode 23. As Kirin was about to, um, was, yeah, was about to, um, to kill Toa, biglang, biglang bumagsak from up above si Riku. Kunwari, papatayin niya si, si Toa. But he whispered something in, medyo kinagulat. And while, while, well, well, as, well, Kirin finds this pathetic. So, Oh, he just proceeded to um attacking both of them. Pero biglang sinipa ni Towa si Rico. Papunta kay Kirin. Yun pala, yun ang plano. <laughs> biglang harap si Kirin na ganun. He was ready to Yeah. Pero Towa was just behind here. Well, was just behind him. So, here this was Towa's chance to completely take out Kirin. Ayun, na natuhog niya rito sa puso. But uh in one siguro one final One final counter. Hey, Kirin was about to, yeah, to, to, to deliver a blow of his own. Nope. Naunaan siya ni Towa. Pinuto yung braso niyang ganun. Na his, um, his sword, his sword arm. So, tanggal din yung Zansikin. And well, he just, he just disappeared. Okay, naglao na parang bula. Towa now has the, has the Zansikin back. Pero, namatilit si Riku. Towa had, Didn't have enough time to grieve over Riku. Dominate na siya kung nasan sila Setsuna at Moroha. Which, well, Setsuna and Moroha were still at it. Yung pagpuputol-putol ng mga string. Whenever um, the string that's uh, the string that is according to Rion's sentiment at that moment. So, well, ang nagiging guide lang nila, yung Yukari, yung Yukari no Tachikira ni, you know, ni, ni Setsuna. Until such time na na realize ni Rion na well, despite all the hatred he has she has shown for her father you know, she still loves him so huminaho literally huminaho na si Rion yung kukun na bumabarot sa kanya na wala bigla and yung mga strings humupa rin pinarealize lang ni Sesumaru kung well But we all, we all know what Sesumaru said that really pissed Kirimaru off in the last episode. You're acting like a human. So, pani na lang asalag ni Sesumaru dito. And he also said, well, he said naman in this episode that, well, proverbially, you're not worthy an opponent. Di lalo na galit si Kirimaru. We all know how arrogant he is. Isa-isa na lang na... Re- Ah, uh, nare-realize si Kirin Maru na, yeah, si Shumaru was right all along. He's been acting like a human. He's been, um, he's been selfish. He's been self-serving all this time. And, he only wants, uh, he has been manipulating Rion. Yeah, manipulation yun. <laughs> so, he's let all that go. Then, he goes into full demon mode. Talagang ang yabang pa rin ang putangin ng to. Napangiti nila si Shishumaru and he, well, he just said, Now, that's a worthy opponent. Ooh! So, with with one final chance at killing si Shishumaru, ayan, sugod si Kirin Maru, but, nakatas ganun si Shishumaru. Yung pala, He is about to deliver his ano, his final strike. Ayun. K- Kirin Maru went down like a went down like a second grade meteor. <laughs> It's now official. Kirin Maru loses to both father and son. <laughs> Parang siyang tinalo ng uh, ng, uh, ng tatay at ngayon ng anak. Sus. Pathetic. Strings came out from From out of nowhere, pero we can trace that back to the Grim Butterfly. Pinadala ni Reunion para makuha yung katawan ni Kirimaru. Nagkapatawan na lang naman yung dalawa eh. Then all of a sudden, Kirin's spirit interferes and encases the mall. And parang, there was so much demon power sa encasement na ginawa ni, ginawa ni spirito ni Kirin that 
he wants to he wants Rion to remember who well, who killed her in the first place it was a half demon named Sakasa so habang napipilitan niyang i-reenact ito si Rion so napapanood sila tatlong bida and the three girls couldn't do anything about it dahil they're literally tied down at their feet by their feet so Toa had no choice but to use the Zansi Ken for possibly the final time yeah para malesen uh, ng bahagya yung demon energy na bumabalot sa kanilang lahat and the three girls and even Kirin Maru they were already telling Rion to fight back talagang talagang ini-egg on na nila si Rion na pumalag sa sakasang ito yan eventually she found enough courage to make herself a copy of the Zansi Ken ayun isang tagaan lang patay na si Sakasa si Sakasa that memory erased yun nga lang at what cost Toa is unconscious again so eh, dumating na sila sila sa Sumaru Rin at si Jaken eh tinatunan na ni Jaken teka asa pa si Akuro pwede buhay na ni si ano buhay na na si Toa eh sinabi na ni Setsu na no can do Akuro is dead already nako sabi nga ngayon biglang yung bako si Ken ni uh, ni Kirin Maru at yung Zan si Ken biglang lumipat pareho nag merge na so it went back to its origin to their original form the sword of uh, Amatsumi Kaboshi see the spelling okay and kinuha sila Rion uh, at at Kirin Maru well we, 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 you gotta remember guys if you've seen the episode already Rion temporarily took Toa's body kumbaga for a fleeting moment she was she was she was human again para mahawakan niya ang kanyang ama and when the sword of Amatsubi Kaboshi took them bina ano pinabalik niya ngayon si Toa to uh, of course to everybody eh yun nagpapasalamat na lang si Rion at nagkasun at well magkasudura sila uli ng tatay niya and she just said goodbye bye and sword flew off everyone everything outside went bright talagang parang walang nangyari the grim butterfly disappeared final scene ayun nag-reunion ang pamilya ni si Sumaru. And of course, well, of course, Inuyasha and family were happy. Um, yung pamilya nila Mirokot Sango, yeah, they're also happy. And of course, yung mga sidekick nila. Yup, that's how the episode ended. <laughs> we're gonna break that episode down now, critic sub-style, as, uh, as quickly as, as we can. We uh, wanna savor the moment of, this moment of victory by our main protax. Space. The moment na bumaga ng pacing is when um is when the two swords um uh went back as one again. Dito lang bumaga yung pacing. Kasi from the get go it was tense. Kasi several uh, several crises were going on it. Eh. Talaga na feel ko na matatapos na ang, ang Yasha Hime in this episode. Kasi, um, eto na eh. It's not like, well, ang pinaka boss battle dito was Kirin Maru, pero he made himself busy with Seshumaru. So, do I have complaints about pacing Patreon and mga ka-lifestyle? No! Alright? Although it's not as, um, it wasn't as exciting as the um as the final boss battles that were that were shown in the original series. It's not as it's not as exciting as those. Pero nonetheless, it was it was really tense because of kasi it had a really tense pacing. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when Toa 
finally um step into uh, the actual crisis going on yung yung Kirion bakit kasi well ito talaga pinuntahan nila eh kung paano masisave si Rion and uh, they've all realized that the only way to save Rion is to make her calm down to make her realize what uh, what's the most important to her eventually mission accomplished second gear ship was when Toa used the Zanziken to somehow lessen the demon energy enough for Rion to to gather to gather uh, enough of her own courage to yeah probably to face this phobia of her phobia of hers it's a no brainer of a gear ship folks kasi just to save a friend ginamit uli ni Toa ang power ng Zanziken this is how um This is how much of a hero Toa is. Dito niya talaga pinakita. So, this gear shift, yeah, it was very crucial. Final gear shift was when the Zanziken and the Bakusiken went back to, begin, to being the sword of Amatsu Mako, Amatsumi Kaboshi. Again, no-brainer. Because this literally stopped the crisis. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, yep, panoorin niya lang ang tatlong gear shift na to, Magigets nyo na ang episode na to. Plotwise. Um, excuse me. Meron mga flashback sequences ang mag-ama rito eh. A few for each of them. Na nag-emphasize kung gaano kalalim yung mga pinaghuhugutan nila. Pero it's totally negligible. Kasi, habang um, pinapakita mga flashback sequences na to, they were narrating it. They were airing their uh, their sides of the story. So, that's totally negligible. Kaya, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Sunrise, still made the audience focus on the main continuity of this episode which was the crisis known as the Grim Butterfly well, we can call it the Grim Butterfly crisis so yeah get me to the edge of my seat habang habang lumili habang habang nasa area yung, yung, yung itong napakalaking mariposang to yeah. Eh, yeah I was at the edge of my seat actually when I was watching this episode talagang Hanggat din, wala ang Grim Butterfly na to. Walang matatahimik sa mga bida. Walang matatahimik sa mga lead characters. Hanggat din, wala ang paru-parong ito. So, whew, only a clean plot would, um, would keep you to the edge of your seats, actually. Alright? So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. What a great setup for, uh, probably for Probably for a great aftermath finale. Tutok na lang. So, Yashahimi the second act, episode 23. Deserve. Two thumbs up! So, ano magiging... Ano kayo magiging aftermath nito? Ano? Kasi, alright, nagkaroon na ng uh, family reunion. Nagkaroon ng reunion ng family yung direct family ni Sashumaru. Okay? So, they were he was able to share a light moment uh, uh, with both his I don't know if you can call him I don't know if you can call Rin his wife kasi technically, inanakan na siya ni Sashumaru eh. Which resulted in Towa and Setsu na. Uh, pwedeng live in partner. And of course, his daughters, yung kambal. So, wow. It's probably the first time I have I have heard Toa and Setsuna call Sesumaru father. This is probably the first time. In, not since, ever since this, um, this spin-off started, they never called Sesumaru father. Never. Pero si Moroha, although na, Um, 
First time niyang ma- makapiling makapiling First time since being a since since uh, since, she, since she was a baby na makapiling niya ang kanyang mga magulang na si Inuyasha at Kagome noon pa lang father and mother na talaga ang tawag niya So this it was a refreshing sight okay even for us Inuyasha fans na boy tinawag na ng kamban ni ang kanilang tatay na father okay I guess I guess tanggap na nila bilang ama si Sesumaru. And well, you've seen uh, you've seen the looks on the faces of Inuyasha's family. They're happy about it. They're happy about it. And of course, yung uh, yung family nila Mirokot Sango, of course, yeah, they are they are happy about it kasi uh, well, kakampin na rin nila si si Sesumaru technically right after and eh when uh, when Inuyasha's final season aired yun talagang talagang kakampi na ang touring nila kay Sesumaru so they too are happy so what's next now for the three girls well we'll just have to watch the finale guys so again <laughs> Yashahimi the second act episode 23 two thumbs up Another two thumbs up for Yasha Himi Mama Lifestyle. An aftermath finale. Can't wait. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding well the finale and whether whether Yasha Himi will come back for another season or not. And as for everyone who's still stuck with the CHD, ano pa magagawa nyo? Edi chill chill lang muna. Enjoy this review. And I'll see you in the next one.